Well, Californication isn't just a song and an album by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. For years, it's been a term of intolerance used by Idahoans referring to California refugees, those who are moving to the gem state from the Golden State, for some reason or another. The concern has been centered on the politics and the policies they bring with them. All these people from California bring in their crazy Gavin Newsom liberal politics to Idaho. Or, or maybe all these people from California bring in their right-wing ideas to Idaho. Extreme right-wing ideas to Idaho. Those are generally opinions that are really not based on anything that has specific data attached to it. For the first, though, Idaho has released data, for the first time, I should say, Idaho has released some of that data in the context, to give us some context into this conversation of where these people are coming from and what kind of politics they might be bringing with them. Joe Paris did go through some of this data and spoke with a Boise State politics expert on the whole thing. The question is, are GOP leaders and Republicans in Idaho correct when they warn of a blue wave coming to Idaho? Well, Brian, the data I'm about to talk about, it covers currently registered voters in Idaho. And to show data on where people moved from to Idaho, the Secretary of State's office, they looked at records on voter registration forms going back to at least 2004. In the voter registration form in Idaho, it asks people where the voter had previously registered, a.k.a. where did they come from out of state. So the data highlights where voters came from and kind of what they registered as in Idaho. Not kind of, but what they registered as in Idaho. So let's take a walk over to the data here. You can see there's going to be this big red map over on the touch screen here. And what we can tell you is that overall the data, it covers uh, 118,702 current voters. And you'll see some states that are darker shades of red, depending on the percentage split of people from out of state that registered as a Republican or a Democrat or an independent. You're going to see red, though, because, as we'll tell you in a minute, there's no place that a majority was blue. So California, for example, we can see there's at least 39,558 voters that moved to Idaho from the Golden State over the years. And that is the place that sends Idaho the most people. Of those almost 40,000 people, 29,516, or 75%, they registered as Republicans in Idaho. And Ada County is where a bulk of them moved to. Other neighboring states like Oregon, Washington, Utah, and Colorado, they have a very similar trend in the sense that they send a strong majority of Republicans. The second place is unaffiliated. Third is Democrats. Not a ton of Democrats, though, move from other states to Idaho. 48 out of the 49 other states in the union, they had a majority of their former residents register as Republican in Idaho. The only outlier here that you'll see it's Vermont. That's right. They are the only gray state on the map, as you'll see here, because the plurality in Vermont is mostly unaffiliated, then Democratic, and then third, Republican. So it's very interesting to see these different breakdowns. And the sea of red that you see across the entire map that we showed you, it indicates that 65% of new Idahoans, they have registered as Republicans, 65%. 21% unaffiliated, 12% Democratic, 2% other. And Boise State has studied the same question through survey data over the years. And Dr. Jeff Lyons, a Boise State political science program lead, he explained to me this afternoon how this data from the Secretary of State's office from voter registration cards tells me how it compares to survey data that Boise did, Boise State did, and perceptions of people from California. Kind of aligns with the things that we have been seeing in our survey data through Boise State now. We started asking people back in 2016 or 2017 if they had moved here, where they'd come from, and then we've been able to compare that to what they sort of self-report as their party affiliation. And so we've been we've been seeing survey data that says basically this story since then, but it's really nice to see it in a format like this where you've got just much larger numbers of people. So it kind of confirms what we thought. I love asking my students and saying, what is the state in the country that had the most people vote for Donald Trump in 2020. And they always say, oh, it's Texas, it's Florida, it's California, you know? And so just because of the large population in the state, there are a lot of Republicans in California and a lot of them are very dissatisfied with how things are going in the state. And as a result, they're looking to leave and go elsewhere. And Idaho is one of those destinations. So many guessed it was likely Republicans moving to Idaho in some sort of a split, but the data shows it is a heavy Republican split, more than people I spoke with today expected. So a blue or purple wave, according to this data, 
it's not really a reality across Idaho. So, Brian, this isn't a full picture of growth in Idaho. To be clear, this only counts adults that registered to vote in Idaho. It's also possible people didn't put their previous address on their voter registration ID, and it's also possible that hmm. people moved to Idaho, registered as a Republican, knowing that they wanted to vote in those closed primaries. Yeah, there's a lot of layers to this, and I think a lot of people who are kind of been close to this, who aren't just spewing anecdotes, kind of knew this and saw this for years going back, including Boise State, as you saw there. Yeah, interesting to finally see the data, though, from the voter registration cards. Exactly. All right, thank you very much, Joe. You know,